In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed your ISRC codes onto your MP3s. Hey, this is the English Man of EB English Music. Welcome back to another Studio Talk vlog. In the previous video, I showed you how to embed your ISRC codes on SoundCloud. This time around, I'm going to show you how to embed them onto your MP3s. However, for this method, you are going to need to download another piece of software. The software is called KID3, that's K-I-D-3, and I'll post the link in the description below where you can download the software. It is absolutely free. It works on Mac, Windows, Linux, if that's the operating system that you're using, and it is very user-friendly, very intuitive, and also, you know, the fact that you don't have to pay for it, it's just makes it so much better. So a couple of years ago, I used an MP3 tagging software, the ID3 tagging software called MP3 tag. Now this is cool, but it seemed to have worked better on Windows. So if you're using MP3 tag on Windows, you onto a good start. However, if you're like me using a Mac, it was a little bit problematic, especially when it came to embedding the artwork for that specific MP3. Since then, I moved on to iTunes to embed the artwork onto my MP3. However, I found that with iTunes, I couldn't embed the ISRC code. So I did some research and I tried to find some software. Firstly, that's free, so that it's easy for everybody to use. That's also usable across multiple platforms and also that's very, very user friendly. And I found that in KID3. So like I said, I'll post the link in the description below for you to download that software. Now, you'll see here that on the bottom left hand side of my screen, I have the MP3 that I'm going to tag. This one is called Give It Horns. It's the instrumental that I use for the intro for Studio Talk vlogs, for my Studio Talk vlogs. And then I'll also have the artwork in this folder, which I'm also going to embed onto the track. To the right hand side, I have the Kid3 software open in which where I'm going to uh, embed the all the information into the metadata of the MP3. You can either go to this folder over here in the uh, top left hand corner of the software for open, you could go to file and open or open a directory if you're opening a folder with a whole host of songs where you're going to edit the uh, ID3 tags or you can simply go to the folder where the track is, right click, say open with and kid3. But I already have the software open. So I'm just going to uh, open the song that I'm going to be editing the ID3 tags for. So click open and there you'll find that there's already there's already some information that has been listed over there. Uh, you can see that it's been exported from my DAW Logic Pro 9 and there's some other information which I don't know what it's about but I didn't mess with it so I'm just going to leave it as is. So there are some of the normal fields which we are going to edit like the title which is give it horns the artist, in this case it's me, because it's a, a beat that I produced uh, that I've made available for sale. And uh, if you want to have the genre, you can do that, album, etc, etc, etc. Now, what you actually want to get to is, of course, editing the ISRC code. So what you're going to do is, you're going to go to the right hand side of the software and you'll see there's a button called add you're going to click on that and a small little window will pop up then you go to the drop down menu and scroll down till you find the option for isrc you're going to click on that say okay and then this window will pop up you'll see that at the top of this is text encoding and i had no idea what this was about and I saw that there's an option for ISO-8859-1. And if I clicked on to this drop down menu, I saw there were three other options and I had no idea which one to choose. So I did some research, long story short, the best option to choose here is going to be UTF-8. Don't ask me to go into detail. It was such a long read to go through all the research, but I can tell you that UTF-8 is going to be your safest option. So now what you're going to do is, in the text below, you're going to enter your ISRC code, which, if you remember correctly, starts with the country code, dash your registrant code, 
which is issued to you by RISA, then the year of reference, the last two digits of the year, in this case it's 2018, dash, and then the designation code, which is something that you have to generate yourself. In this case, I'm going to use 0003. Click OK, boom. And you'll see that over here where you've added it, there's your ISRC code. Final thing I'm going to do is, well, the second last thing is have the artwork embedded on onto the song. And you'll see that there's an option here, drag album artwork here. That's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to drag that artwork over there. Boom. It is embedded into your track. Now, if I want to uh, change the file name over here to obviously artist and song title, English man, give it horns. And then all you need to do from here is click save, which is that drive button over there. To click save, you can go file save. Either way, it's going to work. But once you click save, now you'll notice a change in the window where the MP3 was. You'll notice that now the title at the bottom has changed to the Englishman give it horns. And now you'll also see that the artwork has been embedded. And wherever this track goes now, whoever wants to inspect the ISRC code can do that if they open up the metadata of this track. Now, here's the downfall or the drawback of all of these things is that when you download the MP3, it doesn't stop anybody from editing those ID3 tags afterwards. Isn't, there's, there isn't anything stopping that. If there was a way of, you know, with these ID3 tags where you can make certain, um, certain titles, certain options, certain fields, you know, where you make it impossible for them to edit via, you know, a password protected sort of thing, that would have been ideal. And that's the only drawback of, of all of these ID3 tags and embedding information into the metadata is that it can be edited afterwards. And the whole point of ISRC codes is to track the ownership of the master recording of a song or a version thereof. And with the option or to, to, to edit these ID3 tags, it does become a little difficult to keep tabs on uh, and tracking the ownership, you know, so you are relying basically on people's honesty. And that's probably the only negative about uh, all of this, you know, with regards to ISRC codes. But nevertheless, there you have it. That is how you can embed the ISRC code into the metadata of any MP3 using a software called KID3. If this information has been helpful, then please give me a like and please share this information with anybody that you feel needs to hear this information. And don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button so that you never miss out on any content on this channel. And I'll catch you on the next Studio Talk Vlog. Ooh, bet, 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 the English